In this video, we are going to look at how to calculate percent abundance of each isotope. In this problem, neon has two common naturally occurring isotopes. Neon 20 has the mass of 19.99 AMU and neon 22 has the mass of 21.99 AMU. If the average atomic mass of neon is 20.18, AMU, what is the relative abundance of each isotope? First of all, we need to realize that there are only two isotopes here. And the two isotopes are neon 20 and neon 22. The number 20 and the number 22 are the mass number, but in this case, we have the exact mass of each isotope, so we can ignore the 20 and the 22. Before we can continue, we have to know that the average atomic mass number is calculated based on this equation. The mass of the first isotope times its relative abundance plus the mass of the second isotope times that isotope relative abundance and so on. In this case, we only have two isotopes. So the number 20.18 AMU is calculated using this equation. So let's put everything together as one equation with variables. So 20.18 is your average atomic mass and this number is based on these two isotopes. Before we can apply the information about this two neon into an equation of average atomic mass, we need to understand that percent is equal to 100 always. And if we don't like to look at percent, we can actually look at relative abundance. And when we look at relative abundance, it is out of 1. To the, and if we can ignore percent and use the relative abundance, we can now use the number 1 instead of the number 100. So this two thing must have the total relative abundance of 1 or the percentage abundance of 100. So we can assume that this neon 20 can be represented by a variable x. And if this is x, this must be 1 minus x. So how does that work? Again, the total relative abundance must equal to 1. And we can prove that this actually works. And if we take this x plus 1 minus x, it's actually equal to 1. So x plus 1 minus x. So notice how negative x and x cancel out, give us 1 and 1. If we look at more example, let's assume x is equal to 0.5, okay? So 1 minus x must equal to 0.5 to add it to 1. Or we can say x is equal to 0.7, 1 minus x must equal to 0.3. Now do you see how this works? So let's go back and plug into our equation. Let's look at the first isotope. We have the mass equal to 19.99 times the relative abundance. In this case, it's represented by x. Then we add to the next isotope. The mass for the next isotope is 21.99. Time the relative abundance, in this case, is represented by 1 minus x. And we can simplify this equation. We have 19.99x plus 21.99 times 1 minus x. So we can distribute this. 21.99 times 1 is 21.99. And 21.99 times x is 21.99 times x. That's easy. And we can combine the x together. If we combine this together, we would have minus 2x. plus 21.99 and of course this is equal to the same average atomic mass 20.18 but we can further simplify this by subtracting 21.99 to both sides because 21.99 minus itself is equal to zero and over here we would have minus 0.181 and that is equal to that negative 2x right there. 
And lastly, of course, we can solve for x by dividing both sides by negative 2, because negative 2 divided by negative 2 equal to 1, and this divided by negative 2 is equal to 0 0.905, and that is equal to x right there. And this is the relative abundance of neon 20, and if we want to take this relative abundance and convert it to percent, all we have to do is multiply by 100. That will give us 90.5% abundance for neon 20. Before we do that, let's go back and solve for the relative abundance of neon 22. All you have to do is this. Take 1 minus x. And what is x equal to? Again, 0 0.905. And if we take 1 minus 0 0.905, we would have 0 0.0905. And if we take this two number and we add them together, guess what's going to equal to? 1, of course. And if we take this and convert it to percentage, just multiply by 100. That will give us 9.05%. And if we take 9.05%, adding to this 90.5%, guess what's that going to give us? 100%. So going back to our problem, now we just solve the percent abundance of each of the isotopes. So that is how we solve for the relative abundance of each of the isotopes when we have two different isotopes. Now, we can make this problem a lot harder by looking at this example right here. Let's just say if I combine all the information and I say, let's determine how many atoms of neon in a 7.55 gram sample of naturally occurring neon. And if I combine the two problems together, go straight forward to determine how many atoms of neon 22 in a 7.55 gram sample of naturally occurring neon. This would be a very difficult problem because it doesn't tell us that we have to first determine the relative abundance or the percent abundance of each isotope first. So that is hidden within a problem if I combine them together. So let's look at this problem right here and how do we solve it using our relative abundance. First of all, it asks for the atoms of neon 22, so that is our unknown. But our given is 7.5 grams of neon, and this neon is not the same thing as neon 22. So right now, we can assume that this is irrelevant to us. And for now, we're just going to focus on neon itself. That is, this is our given, and our unknown is atoms of neon, not neon 22. To solve this problem, we first have to ignore neon 22 and focus on our given. Since our given is 7.55 grams of neon, we have to focus on the sample of neon. That is, we can take this number of gram and convert to atoms of neon. That is really easy. We're starting from our mass of neon, going to atoms of neon. So we take this and multiply by this conversion factor, and then that conversion factor. And we can interpret the conversion factor to solve for atoms of neon. In this case, we have 7.55 grams of neon, so therefore the gram has to be on the bottom. But what is this number of gram? That is the molar mass of neon. And if we look at the periodic table, that molar mass is right here, 20.18. So we have 20.18 grams of neon on the bottom, and that gram of neon cancel out, and on top would be the mole part, one mole of neon. Then we move on to the next conversion factor. This is mole, so the mole part has to be on the bottom. And this has to be on top. Those moles of neon cancel out and give us atoms of neon. Now let's plug this into our calculator. Again, multiply everything on top and divide everything on the bottom. Notice how this is 10 to the power of something. We have a shortcut, which is represented by the exponent. So that way, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is a single number rather than two separate numbers. And this gives us 2.252 
time 10 to the 23rd atoms of neon. But we are looking for atoms of neon 22. In order to do that, we have to go back to our previous problem and look at the relative abundance of neon 22. And neon 22 relative abundance is 0.0905 or 9.05%. So all you have to do is take this and time to your relative abundance, which is 0.0905. And of course, we take that time, 0.0905. And this gives us 2.038 times 10 to the 22nd power. In terms of sig fig, we have three sig fig in this problem, so our answer must have three sig fig as well. So we have 2.03, that ain't around the three into a four. So we have 2.04 times 10 to the 22nd. Atoms of neon 22, and that is our answer.